So guys, in our today's video, we'll be just working on another PLC project that is controlling pressurized pumps using PLC in a sequential or in a loop manner. So with that being said, let's get started. To demonstrate the operation, I will be just using a PLC simulation software just like this. This is Logix Pro Simulator. As you can see, this is the ladder logic that is used for this operation and this is the simulation display. So in case if you aren't familiar with the pump control using PLC and the timer logic, I already did that video in my previous sessions. So you can just click that video in my description. I already linked that video in my description or you can just click at the top right corner of this video. So you can check that video and you can see how this timer and how this operation works. So with that being said, let's just upload this code or the program in the PLC simulation and just run this code or the program I would say again. Let's just start as you can see the pumps are already working. These LEDs are acting as the pumps and uh, they will be working for 30 seconds each. So this is how the pump operation works. So let's start with the programming. Let's hop into it guys. So guys let's start off with the programming. First we need to add this timer 0. This is the timer 4.0 and we'll be just adding it and it will be working with the pump 1 and this is the start button for our whole operation and these are all the bits for our timer 4.0 this is the enable bit that will be high when the timer 4 is 4.0 is enabled this is the timer timing bit this bit will be high when the timer is timing the when the timer is taking this 40 seconds will be taking this bit will be high right here and timer done bit is the bit for our timer 4.0 and this bit, bit will be high when the timer is done ticking and um, you can just change the value of this 40 seconds into hours into minutes uh, for but for now I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes and uh, after that you just need to add another timer this is the timer 4.2 and this is the pump 2 so I'm just doing a two pump operation right here because um, it would be more efficient and more easy to understand rather than just adding uh, n number of pumps in a series operation so this is the there are two pumps pump 1 pump 2 and uh, these are the bits for the pump 2 but the trick here is so guys here is the trick for our sequential and loop operation we just need to add the done bit with our another timer or we can say you can just add the timer second or the timer 4.0 or whatever you timing you are naming it into the same branch as with the timer done bit so this will initially enable the pump 2 for 40 seconds and uh, just to in order to create a loop operation we just need to add the examine if closed with the start button this is just because uh, this is just because we just need to make a loop or sequential operation right here um, so you just need to add the last timers done bit right here so this is the timer 4 colon 1 slash done bit right so as you can see the timers are done let's upload the program in the PLC and let's run so let's on the pump so the pump 1 is on for 40 seconds and after 40 seconds the pump 2 is on as you can see right here the LEDs are glowing again for 40 seconds the pump 1 is on and after 40 seconds pump 2 is on this is how the whole sequential loop operation works uh, let's check it out with our full pump operation in the loop let's see guys So guys that was it for this today's video, hope you like this video, if you like this video give this video a thumbs up, do subscribe my channel for more PLC simulations, IoT based projects and a lot more, that's it for me today, see you next time guys.